Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about religion, and I specifically want to talk about Protestant Christianity. I want to make clear, this video is kind of critical of religion, but I'm not going to make these sweeping anti-religion comments or anti-Christian comments. So if you're looking for that, I would encourage you to go look elsewhere on the internet. You'll find plenty of it. In Protestantism, there's a lot of emphasis placed on belief and correctness of beliefs, like the idea that it's important for what you believe in to be true, in a certain sense. And I don't necessarily think that this is a bad thing. Like, I tend to have some of that emphasis in my own value system. Like, I think it's important to believe in things that are true, and I think that's true both in a religious or spiritual sense, and when it comes to just practical, everyday things. So I see this emphasis in Protestant Christianity, and it's something that, to a degree, I like. But I also see this unfortunate trend that I think conflicts with that emphasis. And I think it is somewhat hypocritical how it often plays out in Protestantism. And that is that Protestantism is divided into all these different denominations, which have subtly different beliefs, and sometimes majorly different beliefs. So there are all these different groups that all believe slightly different things. And this is the problem. Most people stick with whatever group they grew up in. That is, if they stay with religion at all. A lot of people are leaving religion these days. But the people who stay in it, in my experience, a lot of people just stick with whatever church they grew up in. Now what's the problem with that? Well, if you really care about your beliefs being true, wouldn't you want to expose yourself to different ways of thinking, and to research and expose yourself to all those different denominations? I've visited a lot of different types of Christian denominations, mostly Protestant denominations, and I've researched them a lot online, too, and I've spoken to a lot of different members of different churches about what they believe and what their experiences in their churches are like. And I think that this experience has helped me to learn a lot, and given me a lot of perspective. The thing that sort of shocks me, though, is how few other people do this. For example, at University of Delaware, uh, there are a lot of campus ministry groups. So there are a lot of these groups that are oriented towards students, and almost all of them are affiliated with a particular denomination. So for example, there's an Episcopal campus ministry group, there's a Lutheran one, there's a Presbyterian one, there's one affiliated with the United Methodist Church, there's one affiliated with a Church of God, like a more evangelical church, and if you go to these groups, I've actually visited most of these groups on the campus when I was a grad student. If you go to them, you'll find that almost all the students in most of these groups grew up in that particular type of church. So it's like you go to the Lutheran group, and there's a bunch of people who grew up Lutheran. You go to the Episcopal group, and there's a bunch of people who grew up Episcopal. And this sort of makes sense. Like, I understand how people stick with what's familiar, they may feel some social pressure to do so, there could be a lot of different motivators. So I understand that. But at the same time, I think it's kind of problematic, and I think it is kind of inconsistent with the emphasis that Protestant Christianity places on the importance of correctness of belief, and truthfulness of your beliefs. Like, if you really cared about that, wouldn't you want to explore those other groups? Wouldn't you want to, like, expose yourself to different perspectives? I know that's more the way I think about this stuff, and I would encourage you to think about it in that way, too. Like, to me, it seems like there would be a lot that would be gained if Christians would start visiting churches of different denominations, and researching about the splits between different denominations, and what the differences in belief are. I found that when I start talking to specific people about this, they often realize that they don't fully believe all the things that their denomination supposedly believes, and um, it can be kind of eye-opening sometimes. So yeah, 
I'd love to hear from you. Do you have anything to say about this? Is this something that you've thought about too? Does it also bother you? Yeah, thank you.